Hi everybody, good uh, good afternoon. Uh, this uh, uh, nice room was also released yesterday by Triac. Me, I check it late. Uh, Erlang OTP SSH CVE 2025-32433. This is a critical CVE. I think it's uh, a score of, uh, of 10, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, part of Erlang and its component framework, the open telecom platform. Uh, Erlang is also providing in language, so you can read by about it. This OTP is open telecom platform, so it's most used in telecommunication, distributed system. Uh, There's a lot of place where it's used, uh, it was a system started by Ericsson. Uh, this is a, a free room from Triagme, so everybody can test it. Um, uh, okay, this is a um, uh, little bit introduction about what uh, about Erlang. It is what it is not. A CVE of ten, you can see, is a really uh, dangerous uh, CVE if you look at it. Uh, a score. Uh, it's a score of ten, so it's a uh, high, high, very high, and we can uh, discover now why. Uh, because now we do the lab for it, so we can stand by it. The technical reason for it, the explanation is that uh, the co the issue is the way that Erlang uh, OTT OTP implement SSH protocol. Uh, if I understand correctly, they said SSH messages number of 80 and higher are reserved for post authentication. It means when you already authenticated. So if SSH license send an SSH message with such a number before authentication, it would be a drop down or disconnect. But there's the back. The vulnerability server do not enforce this, which gives the attacker plenty of window to craft their message uh, and do execution. The, the proof of concept was by this guy, Matthew Kelly. And we have it in uh, where is it? Uh, this one. Uh, this we will test this one. We can get also a uh, reverse shell for it. Uh, there is an article here uh, explain that uh, exactly what happened here. The same uh, argument of the uh, the numbers of uh, greater than 80 protocol. And here they talk about the patch that was uh, added. Uh, this is the patch where you can see here terminated an expected missile for an authenticated user so the patch is basically what, what they add here for for, for checking um, in this room uh, our mon we're trying to test this concept if you look for example in the room they give us we have uh, my IP the machine the target machine 10 10 1 2, 6, this is my attack box and you can see these two port open this is a 22 and double two double two the interesting one for us is 22 because it has a stage air length now the proof of concept we can click the repository for now and now if I do the CV and then you can see that uh, if I check the CV uh, of course we need to update uh, the IP address that's not the IP address of the machine um, the machine IP that we target to test is this one the port I think if I'm mistaken we need to change that one uh, the guy also it is a nice article where is that article I saw it yeah the, the way how I used an IA to create a waking exploit for CV this is the same guy because he tell you the blog post is this one so interesting is using uh, is uh, was able to push it through ChatGPT and uh, Claude Sonat so it show you here how he built uh, the proof of concept uh, And he talking about how quickly AI can uh, uh, search, uh, can help in uh, research vulnerabilities, so you can use it. That's another article. It's good to read here. Now let's practice now in our script. So if I put that and just run my script, let's uh, cd cve uh, python for example three. Uh, what's the name of the file? You can see now the, the, the file, you can see uh, 
He grab SSH Erlang and he tell you exploit send if the server is vulnerable it should have written to lab.txt file. Now of course now uh, the good thing is how to know. So if you look at the script, the script here that's how we send a command from the bottom. In the bottom part of it, uh, that's how we send the command value. So the command value is file write and remember it's an Erlang language. And you can see also on the top there is a function there where it said, uh, um, where is it? Uh, not this one. Yes, a build channel request, and you have a command equal. So if a command is known by default, so if you want to change the command, you can ch you need to change it in two places here or down. So because that's where the script send the command from, so it send the command here. Um, he requests the channel and he give it a command here. So if you went for example to read this file, now we can remove, um, we assume it's written, so we can just use, uh, remember Erlang always have a dot at the end, so we can use the OS, um, what that things again? OS command with cut, so we can use OS uh, dot cmd um, uh, for example we cut the value because we have that uh, the file was uh, in lab.txt so we can use OS command to cut lab.txt uh, lab.txt and push it, uh, pipe it to NC to our uh, to our machine. My machine is one ten ten dot one three five dot five two. Uh, if the, and, um, let's make uh, port one two three four. I need to uh, sorry. I need to close. Don't forget the dot. So if things go well, uh, what I'm doing here? Let's put this one there. Let's clear this and C minus LVMP one two three four. So if you have that, so if I run the script, it should cut this file and then send it to my AC in this one. Let's see if it does work. Let's run it. No, we didn't get the NC. Uh, why we didn't get the NC? Exploit sent if the server is okay. Where are you? OS oh, didn't close it. Sorry, uh, command was wrong. So let's try again. And now we know the word is point. So it work. So now what else we can do? For example, now in this lab, they will tell us uh, uh, what is the flag written, and they said the flag it's flag.txt. So we can do the same things. So we can just leave this one there, and we can just come here and just cut flag.txt, for example, and send it to our uh, our NC. You have an NC there. So if I run the script again, I should get the flag. So for example. Uh, the next question he said, "What is the host name of the f or the of the system?" We can just run uh, again. We can just run the NC. Uh, we can just say, "How about uh, uh, host name command?" We can just run the host name command, and then if I do that, and I get the host name is this one. So now, of course, the interested part, what can I do uh, uh, more on this, so we can do, uh, well, how about get reverse shell for this, let's, we can go to our reverse shell generator in, uh, uh, let's put for example, one, two, three, four, my IP address, for example, is uh, 135.52, I usually I like to use this one because most of the time this one is there. let's use the bash in case uh, within the bash scripting in case you can just copy this 
and then I can go to to my file now I can remove all of this and then we get reverse shell if things get well we should have a reverse shell so we can have this, this is my p port 134 now I can come here the, so I can just run the script then and then we got uh, so if I do clear, uh, no don't clear uh, so if I do id and I'm inside the machine because SSH is running as the root and we can confirm all the commands we got and then we have uh, where am I am I inside root that's the flag of course that we just got now um, where is the other file? It's like it was deleted or something. Oh, that's the lab.txt and the flag. Okay, uh, the lab and the flag. So basically, yeah, we are inside the machine now. We are in ID root. So that's, yeah, you can do a lot of things. We can, uh, you can also can use an, uh, a simple shell like this one, like uh, uh, the NC. But yeah, you can use this uh, simpler shell. You can use uh, any shell. I think with uh, test this one. This one work. I always like this one because most of the time is a stable one. So, yes, this is a dangerous, uh, a dangerous um, uh, CVE. So you can read uh, in a file. You can get a reverse shell. Of course, the detection here is a problematic little bit because uh, the attack lies on SSH protocol implementation layer. So, as a daemon log would not provide you with reliable exploitation evidence still the attack can be traced by reviewing the network traffic yeah but network if you have some kind of uh, traffic like Wireshark or something where you would see the SSH MSG channel request uh, there is no lab for this one so they just uh, show you this one like for example channel open channel request uh, the packet will contain a payload starting with the exec keyword and ex uh, uh, ending with an exact command to be executed. Maybe now we'll find some new room in Bluetooth, Sherlock or Trihack me for this. They will, uh, they will give us this to some investigation. Uh, they took some uh, firewall vendor, they start uh, adding rules. They're talking about uh, 40 gate um, and then Suricata. I'm not sure about Cisco, the other ones. Uh, alert uh, this one to add the alert that's way to edit uh, this one also talk about this one uh, this one we don't have lab for of course the mitigation is uh, version affected are this one the 27 32 26 the 25 and then of course you can just update the next version you can see 3 3 the 26 to 5 11 to 3 so um, this is try hack me model they usually whenever there's a recent CV or something I like this one they start doing it frequently so um, they have a couple of CVs here if you want most of them I think are free if I'm not mistaken uh, we got only 16 point uh, don't freeze on me uh, let's go back to the room quickly close yeah you can test this one it's a free room it's a it's a free room so everybody can test it so this is the the one so you can get the reverse shell here just be careful of the script because I also did that same mistake because if you think you will change the command in the top because the command is here too but is only when it's none so one way to do it you, you, you either you put your command at the bottom like we did here you, you change your command here because it sent the command directly here or uh, yeah it's better do it here because that's what is uh, is sending uh, and then you can get all the information you can get the straight shell or you just run any command in Linux uh, this is, was very uh, quick, uh, quick walkthrough for this CVE. 
uh, you can read about it if you want in different website different uh, uh, this one I like this one uh, this guy the way that he got the concept I advise people to read it uh, how you use ChatGPT and Claudi to build uh, that's exactly what we've been using here um, uh, our script here this one you can see the script connecting to SSH turbo and everything thank you every everybody you have time to try this room thank you very much and have a good day